Hello everyone and welcome back to St. Andrew TV. I'm your host Andrew and today I'm going to teach you how to tie an Old West ribbon tie. Ribbon ties were a staple of Victorian era fashion and even gunslinging Wild Bill wore a ribbon tie and if it's good enough for Wild Bill it's damn sure good enough for you. On top of all that I'm also going to teach you how to make your very own ribbon tie. So let's untie this thing and get to work. So once you get a piece of ribbon that is about 5 eighths of an inch thick, and it can be up to 7 eighths of an inch thick, that's about as much as you're gonna wanna go though because then it'll become more problematic when you're trying to knot it. But put your base silk ribbon around your neck and I measure it down to about my hips and then cut off each end. Now that we have our ribbon length, we're gonna take each end, we're gonna take a lighter and we are going to singe the ends so it does not unravel. Just like so. And give that a second to dry up, which it is now. We are good to go. You are gonna put it around your neck. You want it coming down equally on both sides. You're gonna take your ribbon and you are going to cross it. Now I cross it with the right side over the left side and you're gonna take that right side, if you did it like I did, and you're gonna come up, and you're gonna come through that little gap, and you are going to tighten it until it is on your neck. Make sure that both sides are still equal in length. Next step of the process is you're gonna take the one underneath. This is the top because it came up and out, so this would be the bottom piece. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna make a loop and pinch it. Now here's where it's gonna get tricky and this is where I kind of got lost the first time as well. You are gonna take the ribbon piece that's in your left hand, which is the top piece, right? And you're also gonna take your ribbon that you've just made and you're gonna give it some torque so it does not loosen around your neck so you have a nice tight knot when you're done. So you're gonna take the top piece, which is in your left hand, and you're gonna go over towards your right shoulder. You're gonna wrap it around the loop that you've made. And by doing that, you have an opening to come back through. And you pull tight and you knot it. Now, obviously this is not our desired look quite yet, but once you pull the loose ends, that are not your loops, by the way, you pull it like that. And there you have it. You have just completed your first ribbon tie knot. Now I'm gonna go inside real quick and look into a mirror as we are in the recording studio and I cannot see myself, but I figured that you guys would do this in front of a mirror to get a nice even knot. So give me a second and I'm gonna straighten mine out and then we'll tie up the loose ends. Get it? Tie? I mean, Given I'm not in front of a mirror that often, but that was probably the quickest duration of me ever being in front of a mirror because I didn't know I nailed it right off the bat. You know, just a quick one there. But I hope you guys learned something today. Like I said, this is a pretty simple process once you get the hang of it. It took me about an hour and a half to two hours to figure this out, but once I got it, I mean, I didn't even need to look in a mirror to realize everything was ship shape up here. Now you can impress your friends or, you know, go back in time with the new Victorian era style that you learned from St. Andrew TV. I do have a few things before we wrap things up here today. My friend, John Ledford, he is a photographer down in Kentucky. He has just released a calendar that is for sale on his Etsy page. John is a great guy and a good friend of mine. And in the calendar that he just released, he took every last photo for every last month in there. He's been to Austria, Switzerland. He's been all over the planet collecting photos and he decided to make a creative project in the form of a calendar. So I'm gonna link John's YouTube and his Etsy down below. Go show him some love and support and he does do excellent work with that camera let me tell you the other thing i'd like to shout out is the person you saw in my last video was my brother he goes by the name alex m on youtube and he specializes in cinematography and avant-garde film his stuff is very unique it is not like anything else that you'd see on youtube for the most part it's very creative i must say so go check him out 
He will also be linked down in the description. And that should be it for us today. My name is Andrew with St. Andrew TV. I appreciate you guys getting this far in the video. I hope you learned something today about Victorian era style. And if not, I hope I refreshed your memory. Thank you to everybody who's subscribed as of late. It does mean a lot to me. And for those of you who stumbled across this video and are not subscribed, think about subscribing. You're a daisy if you do. Thank you.